Hey all, it's Josh with Battle Bond here, and I'm back again with Sebastian. And uh, we're going to play another game of MESBG for you. Okay, so why don't you tell me what you brought today, Sebastian? I brought the original Solid End model right here, uh, followed by two normal Heradrium riders with war spears nice and second war band is somewhat Ooh. fully loaded mumak with a whole bunch of archers and a couple of the karna dual wielded warriors plus some grappling upgrades and gnarl hide which was a bad choice but it's there <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is so awesome i'm so excited to see this in action okay so i'm bringing the dead of dunharo for you guys today and just so you guys know um, Sebastian knew what army I was bringing before he made his list, so he decided to bring the Mumak regardless. So I don't want to hear any complaining about this being a hard counter against it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just go over my list here. So we've got the King of the Dead, and um, all of my warriors are going to have shields. So we've got seven with just hand weapons, um, and then it turns out I didn't have quite enough models to make 600 points. So this um, Dead Marsh Spectre is going to be moonlighting as a, a Army of the Dead model. And then we've got uh, three models with spears and shield, obviously, and then one with a banner and two Riders of the Dead. And then over here, we've got a Herald. And the Warband is basically the same three spears and seven hand weapons and two riders. So we will come back with our deployment and our mission and we'll go from there. If you like what you're watching and want to help support the channel, check out our shop at etsy.com slash shop slash battle bond miniatures, where we sell a variety of proxy models, terrain and game accessories by creators such as KZK minis that can be used for a variety of tabletop games. Use our discount code up on the screen for 10% off your next order. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and now back to the video. Okay, so the scenario we rolled up today is retrieval, and I won the roll off, so I decided to pick this corner. Um, so my artifact is there, and Sebastian's is over there. Uh, we finished our deployment, so you guys will be able to see, along with like uh, an overview of the battlefield. And obviously we've deployed, so we just have priority. Oh, Ty. <laughs> oh. All right. To me. Yeah. Would you like to call anything? No. Okay. Nope. Not calling. Um, I'm going to use the one of the Herald's will to call a march with the king. A march? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So we will come back after the movement phase. All right, end of the movement phase, and most of the guys on foot kind of spread themselves out to hopefully body block. We'll see how it goes. And then the cavalry is just sitting over here. Mumak and Soladin's over here, staring things down. So we'll come back with some shooting. Okay, so shooting did nothing. Obviously, we have no combats, so we're just going to move on to a priority. Three. Two. All right, it's evil. Would you like to call something? No, I will not call anything. No. Okay, uh, neither will the dead. So uh, we'll come back after some movements. End of the movement phase here. So we've got uh, the undead spread out a bunch. This guy got charged by Soledad and a guy. Cavalry is kind of moving up here and the Mumak decided to turn around and come chase them. So we'll do some shooting and then we'll do our one combat. Okay, so shooting from the crew on the Mumak did nothing. They were just shooting at the uh, knight over here. Um, so we're just moving on to this combat with Sildan plus one versus the undead. So he's going to shield. So yep. I'll get two dice at least. Uh, six. Oh, okay. Um, Sully's what, got four what dice. Do you six. Yeah, six dice. And Ryder, so uh, Sully's Isengard dice. And I got the six. Cool. Okay, so Sully gets eight dice on him, yep. using a six. Yep. And that's Isengard. Angmar, okay. 
One six. Come on, Sully. No. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna and then roll four for the other guy. This guy first. He needs six by fours. <laughs> no. Do I spend a mite? No. I'm not spending a mite on the unit. No. All right. So this brave soul lives. <laughs> yep. On two priority. Oh, one. Hey, not a one. So it's me. Would you like to call anything? Um. Yeah, I think I'll call one with the Mumak. Call okay. a move. Uh, I'm not going to call anything, so it'll just be you. All right, end of the movement. So over here, you can see we just kind of spread out a bit to cover zones. Um, the dead moved up here. The Mumak moved over, killed two, two of the knights. Um, tried to bring these guys with them, but Soledan and one of the riders actually failed their courage checks to charge the guy that was knocked down. So we ended up standing up and surrounding uh, Soledan. And that's about it. So we'll come back with some shooting and then a combat. All right, so shooting proved pretty effective. Um, they were shooting at both the riders over here across the pillar, managed to straight up kill one of the riders. So good for them. <laughs> so we are just going to the one combat we have here, which will be Siladan versus four. Sorry, correction, it's going to be Siladan versus three, because these two are base to base right here. So we'll start with that. Which one? Siladan. Siladan. Yeah. Oh, five. Pretty good. And beats me easy. You have banners too far. Wow. OK, that was lucky. Um, are you okay if I roll them off one by one? Sure. So into him. Wow. Into him. No. Into him. No. I won't mite that. Okay. So kills one. So end of the combat phase, you guys saw Soladan kill one of the undead. No problem. And then this combat was basically a wash. So we're just on to priority for next round. Ooh. All right. Not a one. Oh, it's over to me again. No. Do you uh, like to call anything? Yeah, I'm not gonna get sold and surrounded by the everything and your king. So, I call a move on Saladin. Okay. Um, the king is gonna use one of the herald's will to call a move as well. That makes sense. So we will or all roll to see. Um, I'm evil. Yeah. Yeah. So no. it is good. So oh, the pain. Yeah, it looks like I get to move first here. So we'll come back after the movement phase. Okay, end of the movement. So we're just spreading out a little bit more down there. Um, we surrounded Sullivan again, and we've tagged the other two riders. And then the Mumex actually going to just stay still so he can throw some rocks. So we'll come back with some shooting. We'll see how many guys die, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, stone throwing finished. We lost uh, three undead to it, and then one horse from the guy at the end over there. So we'll do some combats, and we'll come back with those. So I lost all my spear supports from the rock throwing, so it's just going to be Sully on four here. So I want to roll, see if you get a six. Not yet. Nope. Do you want to roll the banner already? No? Okay. So I win right now, but you have a banner as well? Yep. Oops. Whoop. Not in the tray. Okay. So, nope, that's goes, you. Goes to me. Yep. Okay. Um, one into him. One into the next one. And the third one. No. Okay. He wins, but no deaths this time. Oops. Um, so we just have priority to roll for. So let's see if I can win it again. Looks like no. Tie goes to me. You yeah. Calling anything? Um, yeah, I'll use the Herald's last will to do a move. Ugh, come on. My might is dwindling. I'll counter. I'll counter. With Soladin. Soladin? Okay. Or am I in within six? Okay, I'll do. I'll do the Mumak. Sounds good. Let's roll it and see. You're 30. No, you do. Oh, I do. Sorry, never mind. Oh, goes to me. Okay, so okay. welcome back after some moves.
Okay, end of some movement. So, uh, the, the Mumak went first, killed a couple of undead, and then um, Soledan and his two riders kind of moved around here. Soledan charged over here and got surrounded. Uh, King of the Dead is right there. Did some moving over here. Over there, this guy is kind of making a beeline, sort of, for the objective over there. So we'll do some shooting, and then uh, we'll come back with some combats. All right, so the Mumak crew shot this guy over there, did nothing. Um, so we're moving on to combat. So the King of the Dead is going to call a heroic combat with his one might. And would you like to call anything, Sebastian? I'd have to kill... How much will does the Herald have left? Will? Yeah. Uh, he has no will. Oh, sorry, fate. He's two fate, right, two, two wounds. Fate. That's a lot to go through. So you'd have to kill four models. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. Um, I'll just hope that the elephant survives. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so nothing from you? No. Okay, so we're going to start with the King of the Dead combat over here. So him plus two onto the one ride. Oh yeah, so I have no might, so it doesn't matter. I can just roll these all at the same time. Uh, so I got a five high. Do you want to do a banner on, on a low one? To see if you get no, well, I'll wait to see if you roll. Okay. What you get. So, initial roll. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, banner re-roll is into a five. So it looks like you win. Josh, I don't understand. Okay, who are you striking? That is so unlucky. Um, I'll see if I can get a just normal, normal dude. Okay. No. Nope. All right. So wow. we'll come back with some more combats. Okay, last combat of the round is going to be Soledan versus the Herald and two. So see if he gets a six. Yes. He does, so he wins. And who would you like to strike? Um, six is either way. Yeah, I... Does your herald has no will, so it's just a, it's just a dude who has two attacks. Uh, two attacks, two wounds, two fate. Okay. Um, let's let's try and take him out. So eight dice. So going for the herald. Going for the herald. Okay. One. Okay. Um, so I'll take a wound. Priority. Okay. So it is evil. Uh, I have no might left, so I can't call anything. So we'll just come back after some moves. Okay, so the Mumak is trampling through a bunch of stuff. Um, so he just hit the king and wounded him three times. So we'll do some fate rolls here. So first one, nope. Second one, nope. So he is dead. Wow. All right, and he's going to keep going. Okay, so the Mumak is at the Herald right now. Uh, wounded once. I have one wound left and two fates. So first fate uh, makes it. So that's where he stops. Okay, end of the movement phase. So these guys are still hanging out over here. Um, the dead didn't really move, except for that guy over there who's beelining it for the objective. So we'll do some shooting, and then we'll come back with some combats. Okay, so the shooting killed the undead banner. Um, so we'll do some combats, and we'll come back with those. Okay, so Soladin killed the guy he was base-to-base -base with, and now the Herald's going to try to take on the Mumak by himself. Uh, so six high. Six high. Three dice. Five high, and I get Soladin banner. No. Okay. So looking for fours. Nope. Ouch. All right, so get it back up a little bit. The dead is broken. Yeah, and that happened during the movement phase. So we're gonna roll to see if the game ends. No, it does not. So we will do priority. Yeah, six. So it's me, no matter what. Yeah, five. Would you like to call anything? Uh. Yeah, I think I need to push, so I will call it with the sword in. Okay, and I have no might, so we'll come back after some moves.
Okay, end of the movement. Um, the Mumak actually got stopped by the Herald, didn't do any wounds. Um, Dead didn't really move, and uh, Soledan and his cronies are kind of trying to wrap around to get to the objective over here. So we'll do some shooting, and we'll come back with some combats. Okay, shooting, they tried to shoot into this guy, did nothing. So we're going to do the Herald versus Mumak combat right now. So let's see what you get. Uh, five high. That's you. Three. And tusk weapons, two wounds. Yep, uh, so he's dead. Dead. Soladin versus the one. The one's going to shield. Okay. Uh, six high. Okay, doesn't matter. Gives me a six. Yeah. Dead. And then we got the two spirits. So they each have two attacks. Yep. Um, kill shield. I have fights four. Okay, so you win. And one six. No, I need more than a six. Six and four, right? Yeah. No. So that's it for combat. Um, so we'll roll to see if the game ends. It ends. It does. Cool. So we'll tally it up and we'll come back and see where we're at. Okay, so we tallied up the score and it's another um, pretty major victory for Suladan. It's uh, 5 nothing. So, um, yeah, thoughts on this one? I mean, I don't know. It sucks. I was pretty close to... I was Next turn I could have grabbed um, Sebastian's objective. So it would have been nice if it would have gone one more turn and then would have ended because then that definitely would have at least brought things closer. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I don't know. Um, everything seemed okay until the uh, Mumak basically just trampled through all my guys over here, and uh, in including the King of the Dead. So, yeah. Got any thoughts for us, Sebastian? I mean, you've, you've mentioned most of it. I, I do think we had one crazy combat here where my one rider survived the heroic combat, which would have given the king a chance to maybe one-shot the Mumak, which would have made things a lot more uneven. No, not uneven, but the game would have played very differently for sure. So yeah. my first time playing with the Mumak and it worked out really well. It did trample things and uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was fun on my end, but... <laughs> Being trampled on may have not been so fun, so I apologize, Josh. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Um, it's funny because I, I honestly thought the undead were kind of a hard counter for the Mumak, but Same. It, it might actually Same. be the other way around because he's strength nine, right? And so I don't be, have to do the courage check. Yeah, so be, being able to go through their, their high defense without really much of an issue is kind of a big deal. Um, but this game was fun regardless, and it kind of makes me excited for the Great Beast of Gargaroth. I, Gargaroth. I know um, he's not going to be nearly as effective, but he's also like half the points and comes with guys on him, right? So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting him on the, the table and seeing how he does comparatively. So thanks for watching, guys. And if you like this battle report, make sure to give us a like and subscribe and comment below. And we'll see you next time for another Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game Battle Report.